Hello everyone, good afternoon. Welcome to your first class for INFS 111, which is Information in Society. Please. This is not going to be a main lecture because the lecture is not available at the moment. Please, can you hear me? Some are saying they don't hear me. Please let me know if you can hear me. Hello, please give us feedback if you can hear me. Okay, so you can hear me now. Thank you for the feedback. Yeah, so our, main, our class today is going to be centered on how we, our freshmen would get used to the Sakai Learning Management System. We are aware that the Academic year would be hosted online. So 
if you want to have a very fruitful academic year, you need to know how you can use the Sakai LMS very well. Please, for those who don't know Sakai, that is the e-learning platform for University of Ghana. So you should navigate your navigate the portal very well, navigate the workspace of Sakai very well before you can have a fruitful academic year. Please, some are still saying they can't hear me. You can mute the microphone or mute the microphone and then talk please so that I get to know everybody is getting the information we are giving out today. Please, you can unmute the audio so that you speak for us to know whether you can hear us or not. We don't want anybody to miss out on this. Please, can you hear me? Okay, so um, a recorded version of this video would be uploaded on our YouTube channel, so you can go there and watch it. So the moment you are done, we would upload the recorded version of this. So in most of your, in your subsequent lectures, you'll be recording the session so that you can follow up after the class. So please, to our dear freshmen and women, the Information Studies Department and the Student Association welcomes you to the department. It's a pleasure having all of you. And I assure you that you will not regret registering for this course. It's a very interesting one. And if you take it very serious, you can make good grades and leave University of Ghana successfully. So we would, this session would be in five subsections. So we we'll talk about Sakai, int introduce you to Sakai, what it is and how you can log in and you access the messages and all notification that comes to your Sakai through your lecturers, your TAs, your HODs and any other academic related messages. The second one will talk directly to the course side. So if you have five courses, there's courses that you've registered and that's the courses that are showing on Sakai and how you will be able to know what is at each course site, know whether your course, is, your course is there, whether there is something at the course site for you. The third one would look at how you can, you, you would submit your assignments on Sakai. As I said, it's going to be mostly online. So assignments and all tests will be online. So you should know how you would use Sakai to submit your assignments. The fourth one will also be submitting tests and quizzes on Sakai. That would be the fourth one that we'll talk about. And the fifth one will be resources. Resources on Sakai direct you to where your lecture notes or your slides are. That's what will be used for your lectures. So we'll take you through all these as you prepare to start your main class, which will be your second class next week for group one. Please, I'll be sharing the screen with you just so that you'll be able to follow whatever is going on. And after the session, after each staff section, we would give, give room for you to ask your questions. If you do not get that, if you're unable to ask the questions here also, you can, go when you want to when you go and watch it on our youtube channel you can leave your comments there and we respond to them so let's get started please are we are we fine are we okay let me know let me get feedback from you so that we know our students are fine are you are we okay please I'm not getting feedback from you. Okay, yes, I've gotten feedback from 
some of you. You can either leave it in the comment section or you unmute your microphone and speak. Okay, so please, we are getting started. Yeah, so this is our screen. So you go to the university website, you can either type Sakai here, just Sakai LMS, see it comes. So Sakai login using login required, any of them will come. But just to get it right, you go to home. So that's the university website. So you type www.ugn.edu.gh. If you don't have the university website pinned to your browser. So you click on students, please. When you put the cursor on student, do not select any of this. Just click on students. Then you scroll down. When you click on students, you scroll down to see UG Home, MIS, Students Mo Sakai. This is Sakai. So you click on Sakai. Piece is loading. So let's please come and then look at it. Please, you can be putting your questions down so that whenever there is time for the questioning, you can just ask your question. So you enter your student ID and your PIN. Without the two, you cannot log into Sakai. So you should have the two before you log into Sakai. Sorry, the network is closed. Yeah, so this is it. So it has taken me to my workspace. This is my Sakai workspace. So I have the courses that I have registered here. INFS 432, 422, all the courses that I registered are there. So you should know these courses, the courses that you've registered. So if you've registered for political science, you should see POLI 111. You register for information studies, you should see INFS 111. So you go to site. You go to site. This is site. When you go to the site, you look at all the courses that you've been registered for. So whichever course that you were registered for should be here. And please, you see all these courses, you see all these courses, the moment you log into Sakai, that's the moment you are logged into my workspace because I have pinned them to be my favorite courses. That is why you see them there. So when you get, you click on the site and you want to pin any of the courses so that the moment you open your workspace, you see it's there, you just have to click on the star to make it yellow. So you click on the star to make it yellow. So I am making all this, I'm removing all these courses from my favorite courses. So these are the favorite courses that I've selected now. So you see the yellow, Oh, the ones with the yellow star. So you can come here. You just have to reload the page and your courses will be there. The moment you reload the, the page, the courses that you've pinned as your favorite would show. So I want you to see how, so you see it has changed. All the courses that I, I as my favorite has now changed. So this is, that is it for your course site and as a same Sakai. The second one we would look at is the notification and the messages. 
This bell here is the notification bell. It gives you all the academic alerts that you need to get. So whichever course, information that is coming from any course, you would get it from here. So if you need to have a class today, if your class have, has been rescheduled or you'll be having an assignment or a test, the moment it is uploaded, you will get notified from here. So please be checking your Sakai very frequently. The moment it's uploaded, you get it from here. And in most situations, so you get an email notification. If you're unable to check from here, you can just scroll down. You can just scroll down to see all the announcements are here. You see there are currently no announcements at this location. So I don't have any announcements, but if there's any announcement for me, it will be stated here. So when it's there, I can just click on the particular announcement and it will take me to whichever site it is. You can also scroll down. These are previous announcements. And the moment you click on it, you just be redirected to the site. So this is it. You click on it and I've been redirected to the site. This is the site, INFS 422. So you just click on the announcement and you'll be redirected to the site. Please, that will be it for, that will be it for the first section. If you have any question, please do let us know. If there is none to let us know so that we can proceed from there. Please, is there any question? Okay, so someone is asking for a replay. Please do not be bothered if you weren't able to join on time. The recorded version will be posted to our YouTube channel and it will be sent to the page the WhatsApp platform, so you can access them at any point in time. So please do not worry if you were unable to join before we started. So someone is asking the number of subjects that they are supposed to register for the course. Depending on the number of courses you were given. So if you were given political science, information studies and sociology, you would register for one course each at these departments, making three. And all these three should show on your Sakai. I know for information studies, it's not showing yet. But please be calm. It would be uploaded and it would see. You, you would see it on Sakai. And please, for those who chose information studies as heck, it would, it would come. The information studies course has not been added to the site yet. So the moment is done, all of you, those who registered, those who have it as their main course and those who have it as heck would be added to the site. So please be calm. Okay, please, if your course is not showing on Sakai, please hold on. It's being done in batches. The addition is being done in batches. So please hold on. Your courses will be added to Sakai, whether a course 101, site 101, or INFS 101. Please hold on. It will be added to Sakai. Just be calm. OK, so please, we would move on to the next. OK, so someone is asking if you're always going to be, you would, you would going, are we going to be, yes, please. Are we going to be always doing INFS 111 online? Please, it depends. So if there is anything, it will be communicated through Sakai. So the notification bell where I showed you that all your legs will come, you would get it from there. So please be checking Sakai frequently, very frequently. Yeah, so please, as I said, if your courses has not been 
if you know you've not been added to Chakai yet, please hold on. You will be added. You know how your match your number is. You have a very large number. So please hold on. It will be added. Yes, yeah, so please. We are moving on to the next subsession, which will be the course side. So once again, I'll be sharing the screen with you and you would know what the course sites are. Yeah, so we are back to our workspace. These are the course sites. When you go, go to the login to the IUT site, so these are the course sites. As I told you, I showed earlier on, you can just make any of the courses your favorite by clicking on the star behind the course attached to the course and it would indicate yellow. The moment it's done, you just have to reload the page and it will show as your favorite course. So these are your course sites. So I was registered for INFS 422. This is the course site for INFS 422. So you have been registered for INFS 111. So you should look out for INFS 111. So this is INFS 111. So this is it. INFS 111 is your course, your, your, should be your course site. And not just that, you should have the other courses that you were admitted to study also on your Sakai platform. So you see, I had INFS 111. Well, the 111, so see 101 or 121, and my two UGLCs were there. So please make sure you have all these on your course, on your Sakai workspace. So you should just make these courses your favorite, just so that it would show on your Sakai workspace. Please. Please, I am used to this Zoom platform that we are using. Anyone who tries to mess up the screen, I will just take the person off. So you better know what you're doing before you start it, before you miss whichever information that you need to get. Thank you. Please, let's continue. Yeah, so these are the course sites. So you just need to make sure that all these courses are there and they are courses that you've registered for. So you can see those courses alternatively here. That's if you make any of them your favorite course, you will see it there. Okay, so let me use this person as a scapegoat. The person just messed up the screen and I'm taking him off. It might affect his subsequent classes, too, but that is the option he chose to do. So let me just take him off and that will be it. Please hold on. Yes, he, uh, he has honorably left himself. So let me just remove him. He cannot join again, so I don't know. So please, if you don't want to join him, you can also begin messing up the screen. Okay, May I, I don't have any problem. You can begin messing up the screen. I, can, I will joyfully remove you from the platform. Okay, please, you would take it from, the next thing will be submitting assignments. It's very important that you submit all your assignments just so that you don't miss any point. Even if it's one mark, it can make you get A and it can make you get a B plus. So please make sure you submit all your assignments and make sure you do them very well and individually, please.
So please, let's go back to our workspace. So if you've logged in into Takai, please go back to your workspace. Let's go back to our workspace. Let's share the screen. We go back to our workspace. So we are back to our workspace. When you get to the workspace, you can just select one course. So let's say INFS. You select INFS 111. If there is any assignment for you, it would be at the announcement session, or you possibly would get an email notification of the assignment being uploaded. So you just have to click on login to Sakai, and then you come to the course site. So INFS 111. You'll have to scroll down to see your assignment. So this is the assignment. Please take keen notice of it. This is the assignment. So you click on assignment. So you see there was an assignment. So assignment title, assignment one, status, open date, due date. So this can only be done by the lecturers. No one would give you an assignment. You can't upload an assignment on Sakai yourself. It's only done by the admins. They are the only people that can upload assignments on Sakai. So when you go to assignment, this is assignment title and the status. This status is returned because the assignment has been completed and it has been marked. So whenever you see returned, it means your assignment has been marked. So you can go to the gradebook and check. The open date is when the assignment would start from. So most, mostly the lecturers give prior notice before they upload the assignment. So sometimes maybe the assignment will be starting on 5th February, but you get the notification on 31st January. It's just to give you prior notice. It means you cannot submit the assignment until the open date is, is here. So please make sure that you know the open date and most importantly, know the due date, that's the deadline. In very few situations, the lectures may extend it, but most of the time, it is not being extended. So you need to make sure that you meet the deadline. Please look at the deadline before you start your assignment. You look at the deadline, you know that I have just a week or I have just a day to complete this assignment, and then you can just do that. You see, it doesn't just come with a date, it comes with time. So the time that it would end, it's all stated. So when the assignment has been uploaded, you click on assignment. Please, for those who have raised their hands, please hold on. When I'm done with this subsession, I will just let you come in so I take your question. So you click on assignment. You can also leave your questions in the chat room I can open and then respond to it. So you see, this is the assignment. It has returned because it has been marked. So the title of the assignment, the student, your name and your ID will be there. So nobody can do it for anybody. Please, it's your name and your ID. You can't, it's not that you're going to enter your ID. This is an automatic system. You can, you, your details are there already. So you can't just change and then do it for someone. Submitted date. So you see, the deadline was 31st. I submitted it on 28th. So make sure you meet the deadline. And when it's marked, it will bring your grade. Please be very, very careful. In the University of Ghana, they check plagiarism. So if you copy someone's work, I'm sorry, zero, you might not even get zero. Maybe you owe the university a mark. So please be very careful just so that you don't copy people's work because it would, they will take you through a system, a plagiarism check system that would make sure that the work is truly your own and not someone's work. So mine was checked and it had a green flag. It means it, it was my own work. I didn't copy from anybody. If it's red, you might be called for plagiarism to answer questions for plagiarism, plagiarizing someone's work. So please be sure you check it. So you see the question here and you see the instructions to the question. So this was the question and each question has a mark. So whichever instruction, whether you should type it or you should write it and submit it at the department or you should just 
you should share it in forum, whichever instructions that will be attached. You should please read the instructions very carefully. Most of the assignment comes with the font size, the type of word you should use. So please check just so that you will do it correctly because that one would also affect your marks if you do not do it that way. So please do well to read the instructions. Oh, hello. Please do well to read the instructions so that you don't miss out on anything. And some of the assignments too, you will have to type online. So in situations where you'll have to type online, it will be indicated. So you just have to click on it and you start typing your work. But please make sure you write your answers and everything down. So if that if you're supposed to type, you just type. You can also type in your Word document offline. You just copy and come and paste it there. In situations where you can submit the assignment by attachment, there would be a link here. There will be a link here. So you click on the link and you'll be asked to submit, submit the attachment. So this was done by attachment. And you can see I have attached assignment one. So you see submitted attachment. So I submitted the attachment. I didn't submit any type A, an in-test work. So please, that is it for submitting assignments. Please let me know if you have any questions. And we will take the last two sections and we'll be done. Okay, please let me know if you have any questions. Those who raise their hand, you can unmute your audio and then let's have you. Okay, for those who those who want me to go over, we would share the link with you so you can go over again, replay and then listen to all what I can. If you weren't able to join on time, you can please look at it again. And if you have any questions after you've gone over, you've played the video again, please do well to leave a comment in the comment session or you drop it on the WhatsApp platform and it will, will be addressed please. So I'm responding to some of the questions that I have in the chat room. Okay, so Please hold on, I'm picking the questions so that we respond to them. Please, Ma Matthew is saying I didn't respond to his question. Please let me know which question it was so that I can respond to it. Yes, yeah, so please, the master timetable has been sent to your platform. Those asking for the master timetable has been sent to your WhatsApp platform. So please check and download it from there. It's in a document form. Yes, I think some of you still have courses that you deleted on your Sakai platform. Please, if you register for 100 courses, you'll be added to those 100 courses on Sakai. You just need to pick the courses that you need to register for. So the, for the courses that you deleted, you don't have to take any assignment or any test for it. Please stick to the courses that you were offered to take. Please, your hack is also supposed to be on MIS Web and Sakai. The MIS Web reflects your academic record. And the Sakai will help you partake in the lectures and all other things. So it should be on your MIS web and Sakai also. 
please, all the courses that you've registered should also be on Sakai. Someone is asking how many subjects that are supposed to be on Sakai. All the courses you've registered for should be on Sakai. Yeah, so if you cancel the course, it will still show on Sakai because you've been re you registered for it and it canceled. No matter the number of courses you canceled, it will still mm -hmm. show. Just make sure you don't take any tests or any assignments for that course. Yeah, so there is one lecture every week. You have one lecture every week and the others will be tutorials. Please, for those who can't hear me, please let me know if you hear me, please. Please let me know if you can't hear me. Please make sure you, you have connected your audio to the meeting, else you, you'll be saying you can't hear me. Please, if your courses are still not showing on Sakai, please hold on. You know, as I said, you have a very large number. So please hold on, it will be added. So what you're saying is that for the assignment to reflect on Sakai, you have to submit it to the lecturer. No, please, that was not what I said. I, I was saying that it's only the admin, which is mostly the lecturer, that can upload an assignment for you on Sakai. So the students cannot upload an assignment. If you are given an assignment, it would reflect on Sakai. You would have an email notification or you go to Sakai and go to announcements, you see the question, the assignment there. So please know, I didn't say that you'll have to submit it to the lecture before it reflects on Sakai. No, that is not it. It's only the lecturer that can upload an assignment and you just need to make sure you read the instructions carefully before you submit it. Yeah, so when you click on the, when you upload the assignment or you click on the test, someone is asking how you submit it. So when you upload the assignment and you click on the test, you would just, you would see submit. The submit button will just be below. Please, if you have not completed, don't submit it. As the moment you submit, you cannot submit again in most situations. So please check, complete it before you submit it. Please, if you pick any work from any res someone's research work, quote the person. So you need to reference the person before you can use it. You just can't pick someone's research work and you you use it for your assignments without referencing the person. It can you can be fished out. So please check it. And if you pick it from the internet, you can reference whatever work you pick from the internet. Or better so you rephrase the, the concept. You just can't pick someone's English and then come and post it and claim it's your work. When you get the idea from the internet, you can easily, since you understand what is on the internet. You can just write it in your own words. That would be better than you picking the work all in the name of you got the idea from internet and then you pick it, you put it in your work. It will be classified as plagiarism. Please, if you, you didn't join from the beginning, just hold on, you can still access the recorded version. And if you have any comments that has not been addressed, Please leave it in the comment section and we will respond to it. Please, for the go for the for those asking for go over, please you can access the recorded version. If you don't have, if you don't get access to the clarification you need, you can leave it in the comment section and you will address it. Or better so you hold on and you join the next session. Please, someone is asking about resources. You will talk about that one very soon. That is the last on the list. Please.
please, how, how, someone is asking how many courses you have to have on Sakai. All the courses that you've registered for, the ones that you were offered to study, you need to have all of them on Sakai. Yes, information studies is not reflecting. Please hold on, it will be uploaded very soon. And for those whose courses are not reflecting, please hold on. It's been, uh, the addition is being done in batches, so please hold on. Okay. Please, once again, you can access the recorded version. So please hold on. If you just join us, you can access the recorded version later after the session today. Please, the heck or your main course will all reflect. So please hold on. And a JCRC, it's not a course you are supposed to, it's, you just need to register for it. So please hold on. Whichever course, whether heck or your main course that you will offer. You can, it will all reflect on Sakai. Yes, please, I know that Sakai is very unfamiliar to you. Even those who are still in their, those who are in their final year still have a little issue navigating through Sakai. So please hold on, you can't get everything at once. Just be calm and learn it. One, take a space a, a step at a time, just so that you wouldn't bombard your mind and everything with Sakai things. At the end, you would you, you will not be able to focus on your academics, thinking on how to access Sakai. Just follow, listen. You you can have a, the recorded version, so just listen to it and then know how you would easily navigate through Sakai. Yeah. Please, the one using Galaxy S Seven Edge. You, uh, you are saying I should attend to you. I don't know. Please send your question again so that I respond to you. Yeah, so the lectures and the tutorials, the lectures is handled by the main lectures of your course. So that takes two hours and the tutorials take an hour. So the tutorials is just to help you un understand whatever questions that you didn't get during the main lecture. So it's just like a backup to the main lectures you'll be having. So if you don't understand anything after the class or you go back and read after the class and you don't get anything, when the sign for tutorials, you can bring that question and you get a response to it. Please, there is definitely, there's not any book that you, that has been officially stated that you should go and buy. When you get your slides, there will be reference lists Look at those reference lists. Go and look for those books, mostly at BAM Library. Or if you want to buy them, you can buy them. But there is nothing like INFS 1 1 book that you have to go and buy. The only thing maybe you'd want to get is a past question. So you can just you can just get past questions. And you go when you, you access your, your slides, you go to the reference list and then you go to BAM library to access all the reading materials that are there. Please, I'm doing my very best to answer most of the questions. So please become, I'm going through, it's just so that I don't miss anybody, anyone's question, please. Please, for those asking for how you would quote someone's work, that's how you'd reference someone. Please hold on. You, you would get that also very soon, please. Please, if you have an assignment, you've not learned anything, please read what the assignment is about. Maybe it's just an information for you, so please read. Someone is asking for the books. Please, when you get your slides, you would get reading material from them. You can either get those books from BAM Library or you can go and buy them if you want to, but it's mostly advised that you get them from BAM Library and then read. Please, when there is a class, you get a link to the meeting and you'll be notified if it's on Sakai so that you join. Please, those asking for where to download the learning materials will get there very soon, please. Please, those who are saying they can't hear me, 
make sure you've connected, you've joined the audio to the meeting. If you've not joined, there is no way you can hear me, please. Sarah, please let me know what you are saying. Let me, let, if you, Sarah and then Infinite Scott, eight lights. Please let me know, have your comments, please. Please, for most of the questions, I've responded to them. So please make sure that you get the recorded version and then listen to it, please. Okay, so. I think we've exhausted most of the questions. Let's move to the next step section. You can still leave your questions there. We'll respond to it. So the next one we need to look at is test and quizzes. Mostly that is multiple choice questions. So we'll go back to we'll go back to our Sakai workspace. Please log into your workspace if you've not logged into your workspace yet. So we go back to our Sakai workspace. So this is the workspace. We are still using INFS 422. Please, that's a level 400 course. Do not worry your head about it for now, please. So just beneath assignment is test and quizzes. So that is test and quizzes. Please hold on, it's loading. The moment is done. So you can see test and quizzes here. This is test and quizzes. Assessment, take an assessment. So when there is any assessment, it will be here for you to take it. So that one also has the title of the assessment, whether a test or a quiz, the time limit. Isaac Kwabna, please, if you want to join your colleague that was just removed, you can continue messing up the screen, okay? So this is the assessment. It has a title, it has a time limit and a due date. Please make sure that due, you check the due date and be sure you are not behind time. Mostly if it's 45 minutes, it's 45 minutes. The moment when there is an assignment, you also be notified either in your email or you get an, an, an at the announcement section. So please be checking at Kai frequently and be checking your email also. So let's say this is the assignment. When you click on the assignment, sorry, when you click on the test, you see it has taken us to this state, this user interface. So see, it has all these things there. These are the instructions. So this is saying no grades are awarded for this, this test. So there will be no grade awarded for this test, but whichever test that is, you'll be taking, there will be instructions there. So please read the instructions very carefully. Read this also, there is no due date for this assignment. There is no time limit for this assessment. You can submit the assessment, assessment an unlimited number of times. So you should know that some will have, most of them have due dates. This is just a Sakai response test. So most of them have due dates. Most of them have time limit. And most of them you can submit it once or twice. So you click on continue assessment. Whenever there is an assignment, please. This is mostly multiple choice questions. So the moment you start, you cannot leave and continue later. If you leave, the time will still be counting and you, you might end up not finishing the work. So you see, this is it. So when you select, you enter next. Please make sure you've done the selection. You enter next, it will go to the next one. If you fail to select, you might miss it. The, it will be recorded as no mark. So you select this, you click on next. Make sure that it has ticked. So the last one, Then this is the last one. So the, this is the last question. So there is no next. You can either save or you submit it for grading. But they said there is no grading for this assignment. So there will be no grading for it. 
Sakai can be like this. So many people are trying to access the system at the same time. So it delays sometimes. You need to just get a very strong internet connection. So when you finish, it would when you click on the submit, it will take you to this point. See, they are giving you a warning that if you <laughs> click submit for grading, if you really want to submit for grading, if you don't want to submit for grading, you click on previous. If you want to submit for grading, you just submit it. So the moment the submission is done, you get an email notification. So this is it. You get you. This is the feedback you get submitted. You have the time and the date that you submitted the assignment, and you have a confirmation number. All these details will be sent to your email that you have indeed submitted this test. So that is it for test and quizzes. The moment you submit the test, also when you you've been graded you see for the assignment when you've been graded you see your grade your grade when the assignment has been returned for this one the moment you submit some give you max it automatically so as you submit they mark it so the moment it's submitted you will see it here so this is quiz one so this is quiz one you will see the recorded score. The recorded score is what you you had. So this is your recorded score. And if there is any feedback, it will be there. If the lecturer has any feedback for you, it will be here. Individual score. And the time, the time that you spent in completing that the test will also be here. And the date and time that you submitted the test will also be there. So you should know that at Sakai, everything is being recorded, it's being monitored. So you can't come and tell the lecturer that you submitted the work on Thursday when you know you did not submit it on Thursday, because you can just get in there and check. So please, that is it for tests and quizzes. That is it for tests and quizzes. We have the last section and we'll talk about grade book and we will be done. But let me take some few questions that are here. Okay, so someone is asking for the NA. NA is not available. So if your result is not in, you would see NA if, because your result is not in or it has not been up, up, updated. So you just have to know that Let's go back to our screen sharing. Let's go back to our Sakai workspace so that we'll get to know. So this is NA. So there was no time limit. So there is no time limit. It doesn't apply to this. There is no due date. It doesn't apply. So as I said, if there is feedback, it will be there. But because there is no feedback for any of these tests, it's NA. But you see, there is a recorded score, so it is NA. I hope we, we are fine. So let me take some few messages and we will continue from there. Please hold on. When the past questions are available, we will let you know so that you can request for some. But you can go to the BAM library and ask for past questions also. <laughs> please the emails will come hold on someone said the emails are not coming by i insist saying that hey <laughs> please the emails will come the moment you submit your test the email will come unless you have not activated your student's mail even that one it will come but you will not get it please activate your student's mail Please activate your student's mail before you can get your email notification. But the emails will come. It would surely come. I did get emails for all my submissions. So please, it will come. Just activate your student's mail. Yes, please, if you just joined, please hold on. You can access the recorded version later after this session is over. 
or you can join the subsequent sessions. But please hold on, you can access the recorded version. Please, information studies not reflecting is a general issue. It's not just for one particular person. So all of you, I'm sure your information studies is not reflecting. So please hold on. It's being worked on. The moment is done, you all will be added to the course site. Please, how to activate your email will be sent to your page. The WhatsApp page that you are on it will be sent to it. And the recorded version will also be sent to the WhatsApp page. So please look out for these, these links and any other important link that would aid to your academic way. Please let's take the last two versions, the last two sessions, then we would proceed. Yeah, so the fifth one is resources. When you open Sakai, so we are going back to our Sakai workspace. When you open Sakai, you go to the site. You are looking for INFS 111. That is your code. You're looking for INFS 111. So you click on INFS 111. And then here, you see lessons. These are syllables, the calendar, announcements, resources. This is resources. When you click on resources, you will have access to all your learning materials. So from here, you can download all your learning materials, your slides. But most of the time, it's been uploaded every week. If you are fortunate, you will get the entire slides. But if you are not, you would get it weekly. So this is it. The title, the assets created by. So this is it. This is the reading list I was talking about that you need not to get by any book. Because when you click on the reading list and you upload, you would see some references that you can access. You can get them from BAM Library and read them for free. This is just a semester course. You can't be buying book all the time. But at some point in your journey to at the University of Ghana from 100 to 400, there will be some extra books that you'll have to buy. That will come from the lectures. But for level 100 first semester, there is no book for you to buy. You just need to download the reading list and get all of them from there. So these are the slides, session one, session two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. And they have a study guide. The study guide will help you know the, the things that you want to study, you'll be studying. So it gives you a proud knowledge on what you'll be studying and how you would prepare to take them. Please, if you, if you open your INFS 111 website, and you don't have, you go to resources and you don't have all the sessions there. Please do not come back complaining. I said that you can have it uploaded weekly. It's not in all situations that you have all sessions there from session one to 13 there. You would have it uploaded weekly. So if you don't get it, please don't come back complaining. You would get them. So that is it for resources. When you click on it, you click on this one or any session that you want to click on, it will download for you. You'll be able to it will download the slides automatically. So you can download session one. So you see it's downloading here. It has downloaded, it's done downloading. So you just open. So it's opening. So you can download all your slides from resources. So it has opened INFS 111 Information in Society Session 1. So please be sure you get the right information and do the right thing. Do not come back complaining when you've not taken an action yet. 
Yes, so that is it for resources. That is it for resources. We are going to take the last other essential things and we would be done with this session. We will only have to go through the questions and respond to the questions that our colleagues have. So let's go back to our workspace. Let's go back to our workspace. That is Sakai. This is our Sakai workspace. We are going to talk about your grade book. We are going to talk about your grade book and your chat room. So grade book, this is grade book classic. So this is grade book. Each site has a grade book. Grade book consists of all the scores that you had the assignments that you submitted, the test that you submitted, and everything. Gradebook has everything there. So you go to Gradebook, you go to the web, the site of the page that you, you want. So INFS 422. So you will click on INFS 111 and you look for Gradebook. You look for Gradebook. So this is Gradebook. You click on Gradebook. At Gradebook, you would see all the tests you've taken and the scores that you had today. So this is it. So assignment one, you see grades, grade report for Victoria NG. So your grade item, the grade, the due date, the comments. If the, the lecturer has any comment for you, it will be left here for you. So, so for those who would be doing plagiarism, you'd have your comments here. I know most of, I know you will not plagiarize people's work, so it's fine. You will not get comments when you visit your grade book. So assignment one, the grade is there, the due date for the assignment. I submitted it before the due date. The quiz one, you see the grade is there and the due date also. The end of second semester exam last academic year was had online. So that's one too is there. So you see all the grades I had for all the courses are there. So you just need to make sure you submit them. The moment you submit, you get graded. If you don't submit them, you wouldn't get graded. So that is it for grade book. Let's try a different course. Let's try a different course to see the grade book also for that one. So this is for three, four, two. Let's look for the grade book. This is grade book. So you click on grade book. So you see all the announcements and messages for this course is here. So there is no way you'd say you didn't get the message or anything because there is an email notification, there is an announcement and there, there will be a message also. So you just don't have any reason to say you didn't get the information that there is an assignment. So please, to be on the safer side, be checking your Sakai LMS frequently. Please hold on, the site is still loading. We are just using a different, trying a different grade book to see how the grade book works. Yeah, so you can be leaving your questions in the chat room session and you we'll respond to them. If you are also, if you you just join to, you just have to hold on. The recorded version will be shared, and you can just look at it and. There too, you can leave your comments in the comment section and you'll be responded to. Please hold on, it's still loading. Let me remove this person. The person is messing up the page. He he's not. Please hold on. The system is there. The page is loading. I just want to remove one fine student who 
has decided to mess up the face. So let me remove him. He doesn't know how I will find him. We are still having a problem trying to load this page. So please let's continue with the other ones. We'd have to refresh the page and do it again. Please, someone is asking which assignment you are they talk. Please. The, you've not been given any assignments. We are just taking you through how you would submit an assignment. Should you, when you are given one, because definitely you will be given an assignment. So, please start. Okay, some messages are direct, so I will not want to read that one for you. Yes, but if you want any further information, you can come to the department. We'll be ever ready to assist you. So, just have to come to the department. Yeah, so it has it's done loading. So let's get back to sharing our screen. So this is the assignment. So you, this is for a different test. So you see, I didn't do most of these tests. The tests that were given, I didn't do most of these tests. So you can see there is no grade for me because I didn't do all of these. I didn't do any of these tests, but then I did this one. I did this and I did this. So please know that whichever records you leave on Sakai, it will still be there. Even if you complete school and you come back to check, it will still be there. So all your grades will be there. So let's do the last thing and you would continue when next there is any question or anything to address. Most of the, we are looking at the chat room. Each site has a chat room and there is a main chat room for the course, the main chat room for Sakai. But each test has, each site has, sorry, each, course has a, a chat room in the site. So as usual, you will just have to just have to click on the, the course. So you click on INFS 111. You click on the course. You can locate chat room from here. And locate chat room from here. We will talk about forum before we. It seems to be. It seems there are so many other things to talk talk about. So this is chat room. This is chat room. So you click on it. Most of the time, the lecturers communicate with you. If they have any message for you, they leave it at the chat room. So when you go to the chat room, you see all the messages there. The time you type the message. And when you type it, you will see it there. So please, let's wait. When the chat room loads, you would continue from there. We are having issues again with loading the page, but please, let's hold on the word load.
Okay, so please let's hold on. The page is loading, so when it comes, I will show you. Yes, please, those who are messing up the screen, I've removed them, okay? So please, I'm sorry for that. I've removed those people messing up the screen. And they might it might affect their next class. Do not worry about it. Please, you meet the lectures. You meet the lectures. I don't know which clear information that you need. Someone says some of us want to meet the lectures for clear information. I don't know which clear information that you need, but please, you meet your lecture once a week. <laughs> you meet the lecture once a week. And it's just for academic work, please. You don't go to the lecture and tell the lecture, please, I want to buy food. The lecture doesn't sell food. It's just for academic work. So I don't know which clear information that you need. Whichever information you need, communicate to any or on the WhatsApp platform or any of your platforms. You will get response to it. Do not be meeting the lectures because we need to observe social distancing unless you want a couple to close down the schools again. Yeah, so please, our page is ready. Let's get there and leave, complete this session. Yeah, so this is the message. This is chat room. So you see all the messages are there. All the messages, this lady sent it on 7th June 2020 at 1.22 and 19 seconds here. So whenever you, whatever time you type the message, it will be there. So you can just type, type, type in the message here, whichever message that you want to type. The moment you type the message, you click on add message, it will add. So you just don't have to be sure you are done with the message before you type, else it would go in bed. So that is the chat room. Each course has a chat room. The next thing we are going to look at is the polls. The polls. So this is polls. Some of the lectures post questions there where you would have to answer them. So you click on the post also, whichever section you want to go at your workspace, you just have to click on it and you'll be redirected to that particular interface. Please hold on, it's loading. Yes, yeah, so no polls have been created yet. The moment there is a poll, we just have to, that is also in multiple choice format. So you just have to be clicking on it and then responding to it just as you did for the test and quizzes. When you are done, you submit it. So the messages perform the same function with the announcement. So when you click here, you would see this, course specific messages that are for you. So whichever message that is meant for you at that particular course, when you open your INFS 111, you just have to go to messages, all the messages that are meant for you will be there. So when there is a meeting, the link will be here just so that you would click on it to join. So this great book, we've, we've talked about that. We've talked about test and quizzes. We've talked about assignments. We've not talked about forum. This is forum. So forum also gives the students the room to respond to short, give short responses to questions. So the lecturer would, if it's supposed to be a forum question, it will be at forum. If it's supposed to be an assignment, it will be at assignment. If it's supposed to be a test and quizzes, it will be at a at test and quizzes. If it's supposed to be a poll, it will be at poll. Whichever test or quiz you've been, you'll be given, check to know where it is. So at forum, please just hold on as it loads. At forum, you'll be able to type in, give short responses to questions. So the lecturer can ask, let's say, what is information studies? So you come there and type. All your colleagues will come there and type. But until you type yours, until you answer the question, you can't see people's answers. 
So you need to answer the question before you can see the whole answer. So you just need to, this let's hold on, let it load so that. So there you can have a conversation with your lecture, your lecturer and your colleagues. You can have a conversation with them. When someone says something and you think it's, you need to add up, you can add up. If you think it's something you don't understand and it's confusing, you can drop it there. The lecturer would respond. If the person needs to prove the point, they would come there and type. So that's place you can have a conversation. Please, it's taking time to load, but you can leave any comments on the forum whenever you, you want to. It's taking time to load and Let's stop screen sharing and answer to some of the questions, just so that when the moment is done, we can come back to it. Yes, please, attendance will be taken. Someone is asking, I heard attendance will be mad. Attendance will be taken. So please make sure you come. If you cannot come, notify your CEO, notify the lecturer. Please, attendance will be taken. Yes, please, I explained the meeting in the last, just the end of screen sharing. At the meeting, you'll be able to join, it performs the roles of Zoom, just like Zoom. So it will take you to a video conferencing platform where you can see the lecturer, the lecturer will see you. When you talk, the lecturer will hear you speak. If you make noise, the lecturer will hear you make noise. If you are copying, the lecturer will see you are copying. So that one works just like the Zoom, but it's kind of more, more legonite. <laughs> yes, it's more legonite than the Zoom because it has some features that is really for, it's the University of Ghana features. So, it works just like the Zoom, just that it has additional features that would help University of Ghana students. Please, you can still leave your questions then. Okay, so our forum page is ready. Let's complete it and we'll be done. So this is forum. So it's general discussion. There is no forum for me to respond. So there's nothing for me to type for now. But let's see if we can have access to how you will type on the forum. You answer your forum questions and all that. Please the site is, is still delaying months again. So let's respond to the questions and we'll continue from there. Please, do we have to come to campus for lectures? Please, if there's a need for you to come and take any particles, you'll be notified. But for now, most your lectures will be online, will be hosted online. So if you're on campus, you can just access the Wi-Fi. Use access the Wi-Fi and then connect to your online platform for the class. If you're in the house, you must not come to campus unless you want to come and use the Wi-Fi. You can stay in your house and just connect to the class. Please, if the slides are at resources, it would come, please hold on. And when the past questions are ready to, we'll let you know. You can get them at BAM Library alternatively. The learning materials can be downloaded on at the resource section on your Sakai workspace. Please check it. So, <laughs> please. For whether or not it's composing, you show your face. I'm not the one to determine, but it is 
good if especially if you have a question if you have a question to ask the lecturer you cannot mute your video and be asking the lecturer question with your photograph if you want to speak to the lecturer during a class please enable your your video just so that you the lecturer would see who was talking Please, there are some questions I cannot respond to. It needs to be directed to the school. So please, uh, Mr. Emmanuel Yetni, please, I, I cannot respond to that, please. Oh, yeah. But if you're on campus, you can just, it will be easy assessing the Wi-Fi. It will be easy assessing your platforms and your online classes and all that. So it's good to be on campus and there might be particles for some of you, depending on the course you are taking. So you just need to be on the safer side by being here. Please let's hold on, the page is still loading. Yes, our page is ready. So let's share the last screen and we will be done. So this is it. There are no messages. So if there is a message, the lecture will, it will, it will be here just so that you can respond to it. You can type. But just as the chat session, you just here you have to start a new conversation. Start a new conversation. So when you click on start the new conversation, you can simply just type in whichever message or the question that you've been asked to provide answers to. You can just type the answer and then you click on submit. So that is it for that is it for our session. Yeah so please that is it for our class today. Please leave any comments that you want to be addressed on the YouTube channel when we share the recorded version with you. Surely next week you would meet your lecturer and you would start academic work. Please make sure that you are able to navigate through Sakai very well because this is the main platform that you'll be using for your online learning. Zoom would be added some at some point, but this is the main platform for University of Ghana. So please make sure you go through, you replay the video, and then you listen to it. You send a recorded version and make sure you listen to everything to make sure you get responses and answers to all the questions. So if you join late, you can access the recorded version. And then you can listen to it just so that you don't make mistakes in submitting your assignment or anything on Sakai. Thank you and do have a very lovely evening. Thank you.